Hey everybody, I wanted to talk to you about how to export a model from Tinkercad and how to get it ready to put in our 3D printer. I'm going to put this one up with a MakerBot, for example, but it'll work pretty much the same way whatever kind of 3D printer you have. So first of all, I'm going to go to Tinkercad. So over here I've got this design that a student made that's part of a Shira sword. It's really cool. I like it a lot. So what you want to do if you want to take this from your 3D design and you want to print it is you want to go up here first to export. So I'm going to go to export which says download and 3D print. Nice and easy. So I click on it and if it's everything in the design you do that versus selected shapes. And then how do you want to 3D print it? Do you want to be an OBJ, STL, uh, GT, I don't even know what that is, or for laser cutting an SVG? That's a whole nother story. I'm going to do a different one on that. But I'm going to pick an STL. So I click STL and what it does is it prepares the model for export. So you're going to want to make sure that your model has a good name. Tinkercad often names designs really strange. So make sure it's got a good recognizable design. Share us the word part two. So it downloads it here for me. So what I'm going to do is I always like to do this. I say show it in Finder, and it pops up because usually mine goes to downloads, but I'm going to drag this onto my desktop just because it makes it a little easier. So now it's there. So we got that. Um, now what I want to do is not that. There we go. I wanted to close this window. Didn't know that's a thing that happens when you clicked on here. So that's a cool and exciting new development. So I'm going to open up my app for my 3D printer, which is right here. So problem is some 3D printers, you can drop that STL in. Some want it in its own file. So MakerBot's one of those. So I'm going to open up my MakerBot program and it's got my Z18 right here. And what's cool is check this out. I can just take that and I can drag it and boom, drop it right in and it inserts the file, boom. So it's all there, it's ready to print. And then what I wanna do is I can export it. So I'm gonna export it and I usually save it as a file. And so I just click export and I'm gonna say Shira Sword 2, just like the name. It's gonna export it to my desktop in a file format. That's what the MakerBot wants. Like I said, a lot of 3D printers are proprietary and have their own software. Uh, I know like, uh, Elegoo does. So this is the thing. But what's going to happen is this is going to download eventually and it's going to give me some time as well as information about the print itself. It does take a while to export it because it's got to slice it again and get it all ready because that STL file that comes from uh, Tinkercad doesn't come pre-sliced. So it's slicing it up, getting all ready. And now it's going to tell me that, hey, export was successful. It'll take a little teeny amount of PLA and it'll be ready by 920. Take about five hours to print. So now it's in a file format and I can take that file format and I can use the cloud to send it to my MakerBot or I can put it on a thumb drive, whatever you need. And that's how you would prepare and export a file from Tinkercad for our MakerBots. Cool. Hope you learned something. All right. Bye.